Across Germany, the scars of a once booming coal industry still mark the landscape. Massive, gaping pits that once fueled industrial growth now stand abandoned. But in a visionary shift, these remnants of the past are being reborn. Germany is flooding its old coal mines to create artificial lakes, vast, shimmering bodies of water that not only breathe new life into damaged ecosystems, but also offer recreational escapes for local communities. It's a bold and imaginative reclamation effort that sparks an intriguing question. Can these man-made lakes truly heal the environmental devastation left behind by decades of mining? The transformation is far more complex than simply filling holes with water. It requires delicate engineering, ecological restoration, and long-term environmental monitoring. And yet, Germany is pushing forward, turning its industrial past into a cleaner, greener future. Today, let's delve into Germany's bold plan to turn its coal mines into artificial lakes. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Germany has a long history of coal and mineral extraction that spans centuries. Mining was once a cornerstone of the country's industrial development, particularly in regions such as the Lausitz, the Ruhr Valley, and the Upper Hearts. The demand for coal, primarily lignite known as brown coal and hard coal, drove intense mining activities throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries. However, with the decline of coal mining due to environmental concerns and the rise of cleaner energy sources, vast areas of land were left behind, scarred by large pits, unstable slopes, and contaminated soils. These abandoned mining sites became environmental liabilities, often causing long-term damage to both the land and local ecosystems. By the late 20th century, Germany's mining industry had declined, and the government, along with environmental organizations, focused on reclaiming these areas. One innovative solution was filling the abandoned pits with water and transforming them into lakes. This plan was a part of Germany's broader effort to rehabilitate industrial sites, restore biodiversity, and reduce mining's environmental impact. The concept of transforming abandoned coal mines into artificial lakes is part of a broader global trend. Countries around the world are repurposing former mining sites into ecological and recreational hubs. In the United States, the Cuyuna Iron Range in Minnesota has transformed old mining pits into popular recreational areas. Australia has followed suit, with Lake Kepwuri and Lake Stockton in Western Australia, both created by flooding former coal mines to serve as tourist attractions and ecological habitats. Germany's approach builds on these global efforts, but it is the most extensive reclamation projects of its kind. In Germany, over 70 former mining sites are being converted into more than 50 artificial lakes, including the Lusatian Lake District and Geiseltalsi. The initiative, which covers 1,500 square kilometers, is projected to cost $4 billion and is part of Germany's energy transition to mitigate coal's environmental impact. The main entity overseeing this transformation is LMBV, a state-owned company responsible for environmental remediation. Funding is sourced from the German government, EU grants, and private investors. This collaborative project not only restores ecosystems, but also fosters regional development and tourism, benefiting both the environment and local economies. The process of filling a mine with water is not a straightforward task. It requires meticulous planning, coordination, and long-term monitoring. Before any water is added to a mining pit, comprehensive environmental assessments are carried out to ensure that there are no significant risks to the surrounding environment. For instance, mining sites often have contaminated soils and groundwater due to chemicals and heavy metals left behind from the extraction process. These pollutants can leach into the newly introduced water, harming the aquatic environment. In addition to testing for contaminants, experts examine the structural integrity of the mine. Abandoned pits may have unstable walls that could collapse when filled with water. To prevent this, the walls are reinforced and the surrounding infrastructure is strengthened to handle the added pressure from the rising water levels. Once the site has been assessed and deemed safe for water introduction, the next step is to determine where the water will come from. 
several sources are used to fill the abandoned pits. One of the most common sources is diverting water from nearby rivers or lakes. For instance, in the case of the Lausitz region, water from the Spree River has been diverted into former lignite pits to fill them. In some areas, water from active mines or groundwater extraction is repurposed to flood the pits. One of the critical components of this process is water treatment, given that many abandoned mines have been contaminated with harmful substances. The water that enters these pits often requires treatment. Various water treatment systems are implemented, including filtration and chemical treatment, to ensure it does not pose a threat to the local ecosystem or human health. The transformation of abandoned mines into lakes has yielded a wide range of environmental and recreational benefits, providing new opportunities for both wildlife and human populations. The creation of artificial lakes through mine flooding has led to the restoration of ecosystems in regions that were previously devastated by mining activities. These lakes serve as valuable habitats for a wide array of aquatic species, including fish, birds, and amphibians. Over time, the lakes have become critical parts of regional biodiversity networks, supporting both native and migratory species. In addition to aquatic life, the surrounding land has often been reforested or transformed into wetlands, which further contribute to the restoration of biodiversity. The newly formed ecosystems help regulate local climates, improve air quality, and support a wide range of plant and animal life. The ability of flooded mines to manage excess water has been particularly important in flood-prone regions. The artificial lakes created by filling mines with water act as reservoirs, reducing the risk of downstream flooding. For example, in the Lausitz region, the interconnected lakes serve as flood retention areas, preventing overflow during heavy rains. During the 2002 Elbe flood, the broader network of artificial lakes in the region played a key role in absorbing flood water and saving villages. The transformation of abandoned mines into lakes has also provided substantial recreational opportunities. In many cases, these lakes are now used for a variety of leisure activities, including boating, fishing, swimming, and water sports. The Lausitz and Geiseltolsee lakes, for example, have become popular tourist destinations, attracting thousands of visitors each year. Additionally, the creation of these lakes has led to the development of surrounding areas into recreational parks. These parks provide green spaces for residents, promote outdoor activities, and help support local economies through tourism and hospitality. Despite the benefits, filling abandoned mines with water to create lakes presents several challenges. The process is complex and costly. In Germany, the total cost of transforming these sites into thriving ecosystems and recreational areas can reach billions of euros, depending on the number of mines and specific challenges. Large-scale efforts, such as in the Lusatian Lake District, require significant investment for environmental restoration, infrastructure, and water management. Funding for these projects is a collaborative effort and involves several stakeholders. Another primary concern of this project is the long-term management of water quality. In Germany, where many mining sites have been transformed into artificial lakes, maintaining clean water is crucial for environmental restoration and public safety. While treatment systems are in place, continuous monitoring is needed to prevent contaminants, such as sulfuric compounds and heavy metals from leaching into the water. In regions like Lausitz, where lignite was mined extensively, constant intervention is required, especially as these mines were not designed for water retention. Meanwhile, water availability complicates the flooding process, particularly during droughts, which are becoming more frequent in Germany. Regions like Brandenburg and Saxony, home to many mining sites, have experienced extended dry periods. Low water levels in rivers such as the Spree and in groundwater supplies hinder the filling process, especially in areas requiring large-scale water diversion. The unpredictability of water availability presents a major challenge to reclamation projects in Germany. While the process requires significant time, resources, and planning, 
Germany's efforts to transform abandoned mines into lakes is praiseworthy. These projects have restored ecosystems, reduced flood risks, and created recreational spaces, offering a model for repurposing former industrial sites worldwide. Although challenges like water quality management and subsidence remain, the success of projects such as the Lusatian Lake District and Geiseltalsee shows that these obstacles can be overcome with the right strategies. Germany's approach serves as a powerful example of how former industrial sites can be transformed into sustainable landscapes that benefit both people and nature. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.